Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 7th, and today was a lovely, gorgeous day out. A um, little bit of wind, but absolutely sunny and gorgeous when it started. Um, by the time the day finished, it was um, cold, it was nasty, it been raining, and it was getting down to the 20s. Started out, it was in the 70s, ended up in the 20s, which is not all Iowa. Started out in um, Ormond Beach, Florida. Um, woke up there, got this morning, got a bunch of things done, got packed up, got ready to head out. Um, drove somebody to work so they could get a, their car back finally because um, their uh, their future ex-husband crashed his truck and then took her car and left her without a vehicle to get around in that. So um, it was kind of a pain in the butt. He got a vehicle finally. Uh, we got that solved. I didn't have rent a car, so we had something to get around. I was trying to find her a new car, and it kind of went all down. But that all is done. He's now got a car. She has her car back. Um, he left it at her job, which is where it should have been. Um, went and dropped her off at work. Um, said goodbye to her. I took off, headed over to Orlando, which is where I was going to drop off the rental car at the airport and return back to Iowa. So I um, flew out of Orlando on the way there, kind of just hung out, chilled out, did a couple little scopes and stuff, talked to some friends and that. Um, beautiful weather, enjoying the sun, stopped in to get myself some um, chocolate milk and some donuts. And the Win Dixie, it was like 8 30 in the morning, Win Dixie still didn't have donuts made yet. I'm like, what the hell? Ask people and stuff, and they're like, oh, we don't have a clue. We don't know when they make them. They just make them whenever they want to. I'm like, it's 8 30 in the morning. It's not like it's five. You know, I can see it at 5 a.m., maybe no donuts yet. But at 8 30, you should either make enough donuts to have them left still at 8 30, or you should have at least been making them by now. But oh well, just grab myself some um, chocolate milk instead. I'll stop like a Denny's or something when I get there, and I'll be good. Um, headed over, I finally get to Orlando area, got gas, got the car filled up, all that good stuff. Um, pulled into a Denny's, and I was talking to some people, more local area, Orlando, and told them the time frame when my flight took off and whatnot. And they're all like, no, you need to get to the airport now. Don't even take the chance. It hitting um, Denny's or Perkins or IHOP or any kind of stuff. You don't have time for it. Get your ass to the airport. And I'm like, it can't be that damn long of a wait. So I just did the hell with it. Got there, got the car dropped off. I went ahead and said, screw it. I'll find something to eat once I get to the airport, whatever. And um, got the car dropped off, got through security. And security is fucking long as hell at Orlando. Oh my God. They've got one TSA checkpoint. It's everybody in the whole airport comes through. So it's just, it's a pain in the ass. So even, I don't know, it's just, it was a pain in the ass. And in Kansas City, they have a small TSA check stop at every gate entrance. So it spreads out more because you got people who are all training at the airport. Some people are there three hours early. Some people are there like 10 minutes early. And it's a pain in the butt. They're all trying to get to the same spot where you can hang on the airport in Kansas City with your family and guests and all that kind of stuff. And there's a lot of people trying to say goodbyes and stuff. And Orlando's pain in the ass. So finally got through that, um, got to my gate. Everything's all good. I'm like, I'm safe. I'm going to go. Had over an hour wait. So I'm like, great. I did have time to get to Denny's, but, or, you know, whatever. But oh well, it was worth it. I'd rather be, I guess, early. And I didn't think it'd be that bad, but I was hungry as shit. Um, nothing looked good there. I was not going to pay $7 for a goddamn bagel. I was just couldn't do it. So I said to hell with it. Um, did sneak a full one gallon or one liter bottle of water through the tea. PSA, which they're like all ape shit. I just had it strapped outside my bag. It's a one liter bottle, old Mountain Dew bottle. We had like three quarters full of ice and had water on top of it and rolled right through the damn x-ray machine and nobody said a word. Made me feel really fucking unsafe. It was ridiculous how poor they are at their job. So uh, I did have water that's awesome though. Took water on the plane, which you can hear my voice is all jacked up right now. It seems like every time I fly, my voice gets pretty jacked up, just dry in the air in the airplane and stuff. So I kept drinking quite a bit of water throughout the flight, trying to combat that and it did not work completely. Landed in Kansas City, um, called my um, parking agent, whatever it was, that I parked my truck off site. Um, they said it'd be like an hour um, plus before I got, got I actually had 40 minutes plus before I got my um, ride to the car, to the truck, and it was over an hour. It's goddamn ridiculous. They claim they run a shuttle every half an hour, and they don't. There was a two-hour gap when I flew out on Friday, so I had taken a cab because I was afraid of missing my flight, which was a five-hour delay, so I, was a, I, wouldn't have, I could have sat there for two hours. But who wants to sit in a fucking hotel lobby for two and a half hours? So I am going to reach out and talk to the um, parking company tomorrow, and I'll just I'll let them know this is ridiculous. They've already refunded my money, but it's still and you know how that company is doing it because that Extended Stay America hotel is... Oh my God, they suck. They absolutely suck. And it's just the woman on the phone is horrible with her information. She's just like, just deal with it. What are you going to do about it? And I'm like, you're providing a service that really don't matter. So got to my vehicle. I actually kind of whined about that through social media and through some text messages and stuff. Then I had a friend of mine um, really kind of set me straight because she had an accident a couple days ago that could have killed her. Um, rollover accident. She was T-boned. And it really made me realize that my life was pretty damn blessed and I need to not whine about a simple hour wait at the airport. So she really kind of snapped my brain back into focus of what um, is priority. So I got that done. Finally got to my truck. Um, we got a hold of the guy that has watched my dog. He said he won't be home until like 530. So I was like, God damn. So that weird time frame of I could hang out there and stuff. I didn't have any... Um, 
um, cool clothing. I had like warm weather clothing only. I didn't have any running gear to run in the cold weather. So it was getting, it was already in the forties at that point. So I was like, ah, screw it. I'll just wait and get my dog first. So I went over to my cousin's house, uh, picked up my tea and my different supplies and stuff there that I had. Um, I left it there when I flew out, talked to the girls. I didn't expect them to be there. So I got there, they were there. Um, hung out with the girls for a while, played with them and stuff that delayed me a little bit. Finally got back to get back my dog. It was a little after six when I got there. He wasn't going to be there until five 30. So only half an hour delay. Grabbed my dog and said to hell with it and just headed home. I was going to go run right there and didn't, um, on the way home, stopped at the dog park, hung at dog park for a while. Ended up doing a couple of scopes when we home to kind of keep myself entertained so I didn't fall asleep. Absolutely, I was tired of shit when I got home. I got home, it was like, it was after 11 something, or my time. So basically midnight from when I woke up. So I got up, I don't know, way early, like before six. So it had been a long day traveling stuff. Got in here, kind of unloaded some stuff. Got changed in some running gear. Um, went out, got my run done. It was late enough. I actually ran for today, then I also ran for tomorrow. I, it was midnight, it passed. I went ahead and reset my uh, watch and then ran for today. So, or ran for tomorrow, I guess, technically. So I got two runs done, kind of one. I ran out a mile and a quarter, whatever, ran back a mile and a quarter. So I was all good. So tomorrow I will not have to go out and run. It should be nice, get my shoulder and the rest. It'll be awesome. Um, went ahead. The day was great. Um, had a little bit of drama, some little bullshit there. But um, some really good friends of mine ended up getting to the comedy club. Um, they went out to the uh, Monsters Comic of the Year show and had a great time. One of my um, buddies um, was it was a guest host, I guess a guest spot comic, um, Vince. He was cool. He basically um, made my girl feel welcome. It was awesome. I was really you know, happy about that, the fact that he was willing to basically you know, show her some love and stuff, which was awesome. It was really good there. So chat with him off and on all day. Um, just had a great time. The whole day was awesome. I loved the day. I was upbeat. I was excited. I hated leaving. Um, I hated leaving Florida. I hated leaving my girl. But it is what it is, and we will be back together very, very soon. So we got some great plans. we got some things that are working through. It's all going to work out in the long run, and it's going to be great. So anyway, you guys have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.